the 88th episode of the MC Knitting Adventures podcast. My name's Colleen. And my name is May. Welcome returning viewers. And for those of you watching us for the first time, we're so glad you could join us. Today's adventure takes us to Fennel Falls. Fennelin, I have trouble saying that one, don't I? You do, but it's a Fennelin. Fennelin. There you go. I don't you got know it. why I did that last podcast too. <laughs> Fennelin Falls, and uh, that's up by the Kawatha Lakes. Um, really excited to share that adventure with mm -hmm. you. So I hope you stay tuned until you see that. We have a little bit of video of, of our adventure. It was fun. Uh, but before we get into talking about all that, Colleen's going to talk about what we're wearing. All right. Well, first of all, we're wearing our... Canada Day shirts. Happy Canada Day today, July 1st. That's right, so we're excited about that. Now, before you talk about that, do you want to talk a little bit about Canada, just just a little bit to inform people a little sure, bit? Sure, I'll let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it was actually called the uh, Dominion Day back in 1897, mm -hmm. but it was in 1867 that Upper and Lower Canada came together, okay. and that's when you had the Dominion Day. Now, in 1982, they changed it to Canada Day. All right. And See, so, <laughs> we've got the lady with the trivia and the news. And that's how it all started, but there is a funny story. But before I get into the funny story, um, the um, like back in the day, I'm not really proud of past things that Canada's done, but as today's Canada, I am so proud of being a Canadian because we have our rights, we have our freedom, mm -hmm. and we have our democracy. And I just feel that uh, today, it's a great place to live in Canada. Absolutely. I Isn't it? With you. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, I'm so proud of it. Now, I am born in Scotland, um, but I'm st I still think Scotland's a great place, would mm -hmm. be a great place to live. Mm -hmm. But I am a Canadian citizen. Yes, and you I, are. And I couldn't be prouder to live in Canada. <laughs> that's so fantastic. that's that little bit of story. And uh, there is a funny story. Now, we have 10 provinces and three territories. Okay. So when I went to school, we had 10 provinces and two territories. All right. So my son was born in 1993. Okay. So you know how you talk about having that child brain, you know, when you have kids? <laughs> my whole focus was on him and blah, blah, blah. Right. And then he was coming home from school, um, you know, and he was talking about none of it. And I'm like, Scott, why do you keep talking about this none of it? What is this? <laughs> I was so embarrassed. So for six years, I didn't know none of it. <laughs> it's actually added into the territories. Where was I? I think you were having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had a baby. I didn't know we had a territory. So That's there you go. Right. So none of it came uh, as a territory in 1999. Okay. That's yes. good to know. And you know, the biggest thing that uh, the phrase that Canada say, you know what it is? Can you guess? You say it all the time. Sorry. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And our national, our national uh, animal is the beaver, of right, course. Absolutely. They say they're quite vicious. Oh dear. Yeah, they they actually attack people. Oh no. And also the the loony was named because it has our dollar is called a loony. Right. And it's named a loony because there's a picture of a loon on it. Right. And then we had a two dollar coin come out. Right. And they thought, what will we call that? Well, you can't call it a two dollar coin, right. so they just called it the toonie. <laughs> okay, there you go. And we use um, we use U.S. and British uh, metric to measure things. So right. we use a lot of kilometers, and we use uh, then we use miles, and then we use uh, uh, centimeters and Celsius, and not Fahrenheit, but right. we measure in inches, and yeah, it's just very confusing it to is. to measure yeah. anything here because exactly. you never know. And all the, um, the the wood industry is all is still in inches and feet. There you go. So for kids that I know, metric, and I always find it interesting. You go to the doctor, you get weighed in kilograms because you have to get weighed in kilograms, and then on the wall, I know at the hospital on the wall, there's a chart that changes the kilograms into pounds because that's what the doctors understand more. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we love um, we love hockey. Yes, we like hockey. We apparently we drink a lot of beer. Not me. And we have the longest coast in the world. The okay. Longest freshwater coast we have a lot of freshwater a right. ton of lakes yes we do we don't have much military so somebody once said we don't have a lot of military military we have all this water so if anybody wants to come and take the water they just can <laughs> <laughs> okay freshwater. let's not say that <laughs> okay um so a great place to live uh as canadians uh great diverse 
community and it's just, just a wonderful place to live. So. I agree with you. Happy Canada Day. Yes, yeah, so happy Canada Day. And so that being said, we can go on from here then. Perfect. So before we start talking about what we're wearing, because that's usually next, I want to say I won a prize. So I entered the Cozy Up Knits Spring um, Make Along and our name was selected. So that's exciting. Now, what happened is, and we may have some new subscribers, so welcome. Um, you and I were sitting and all of a sudden we were getting these new subscribers and I thought, well, what have we done? What's new? How's it going? Like, where is this coming from? And then it wasn't till a couple of days later that I was actually able to watch the Cozy Up Knits latest um, podcast and all of a sudden there they were talking about us. And you like the coat. I mean, you just love the cozy up knits. I know they you are You always fantastic. want to talk about one of our adventures is to go out and visit them, which would be exactly. awesome to do. That would be great. Yes, and you show me. I'm not. I don't watch the knitting podcast per right. se, but I know of them just because you have them on, and you exactly. you often will say, "Come see what they're saying. Exactly. Come see what they're doing." So exactly, and I love their patterns, and so I was so thrilled to win that prize. Don't know which prize I won. I won a prize, and it's <laughs> doesn't <coming> matter. In <laughs> exactly, it's a prize, and um, so it was very nice that they said some nice things so as again welcome to our new subscribers and if you are considering subscribing please do um give us a thumbs up comment down below let us know what you like what things you'd like to see if there's any places we should visit because we're starting to venture out just a little bit yes it's kind of nice exactly so now we're going to talk about what we're wearing so we decided happy canada today we were going to get shirts well we don't have red knit things and <laughs> it's warm out. So I said to me, well, I've got bracelets. Let's just wear them. They don't kind of go, but we'll do that. So let's... it just shows you how much that we don't wear red. Like if you go into exactly. my closet, there is absolutely nothing red. Yeah, I don't think I have. I think maybe I have a red blouse that I wear at Christmas <laughs> maybe. once a year. Yeah, I know. I, we just don't do that. Nope. I don't know why. And knitting wise, you don't have a lot of red things. That you no. Knit. Purple no. is your color. Yeah, purple. purple. Blue, but green. But it doesn't really go with our outfit, but it works. All right. Because it is a knitting podcast and exactly. we want to talk about our knitting. And I couldn't knit anything really fast for Canada Day. So here we go. <laughs> so May is wearing, we're wearing Laura Nelkin things. She is wearing the Film by Laura Nelkin. And you can get kits for this. So if you'll just hold that up, there it is. It's a double wrap bracelet. It is uses lace weight yarn. So you don't have to buy the kit. You can get the pattern from Ravelry and then do what you need to do. You need some beads. It tells you what how many beads you need. Um, and it tells you the lace weight yarn that you need. There you go. So that's me. And I'm also wearing a bracelet and this is called the Fetish. And it also uses lace weight yarn and I'll hold that up. That's nice. It's a double wrap. Now this one can actually be a necklace. So if you that's see really nice. in the picture, there is a a ring and that becomes the bottom of the necklace but it would definitely clash with what I'm wearing <laughs> so it became a bracelet um, and it's really comfy I really really like it yeah. it's so funny how you tuck things away you go oh, wear that and then you don't so I'm really happy with that nice and I put a magnetic clasp on the back it's a little heart clasp and I like that because it's easy to put together so that's what we're wearing so next we're going to talk about finished objects my first finished objects objects <laughs> um, are the coasters that I was making. So these involve cross stitch. It was a dimensions kit, got it at Lens Mills, $5. Fantastic. And so what I decided to do was you could make them different. They had beer, java, tea, or wine. They had those things that you could do. And what I decided to do is make them all tea. So I did all of the cross stitch. As I mentioned, if you've got uh, young children, not two but if you've got seventy eight nine something like that they would love to do this and it's nice and you can set up and you could help them with that and then what happens is once you're all done then it also includes the cork backing which is impressive so now we've got four coasters that say T so option one is we're going to keep them for ourselves option two is we're going to stuff them in some stockings at christmas time it's a great time. gift idea i it love is. that and they're so nice they really I turned like out the nicely felt coasters they're exactly. really nice and smooth on your furniture i know i bought you some alpaca ones yes i yeah. love them yeah so that was and that's what it kind of reminds me of alpaca. exactly so i mean for 4.99 you get four coasters it's that's brilliant a, it's a deal it's a deal <laughs> start um, the car almost <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's my first 
finished objects. My next finished objects are a pair of socks and it's the Prairie Socks by K.F. Jones of the Bakery Bears. And I do just say the F because there is a K. Jones that designs as well. So I just wanna make sure you get to the right spot. And she's good with that. Yes, she is. I did ask her, I sent her an email um, and I used the perfect pair. That's by Loops and Threads. Once again, you can get it at Michael's. Lovely yarn. So here are our socks. And I am thrilled with it. I love the textured pattern. Now I've tried this for my sun sock. These are for your sun socks. These are birthday socks. We're just getting them all tucked away. And some of you had mentioned places to tuck things so you won't lose them. So thank you for that. We are going to get a bin. We're going to put them in and they will be safe from the moths. And these ones don't worry because there's no wool in them, but they will be safe and we will not forget where they are. So yeah, that's, that's good. That's true. We tend to do forget. Where'd you put that? We kind of tell each other exactly. things where we're doing, but exactly. then when we're, we're both starting to forget, exactly. which is not good. So I said, to me I'm gonna put this here I'm telling you so that we both remember and usually one of us will remember so it works out yeah. well all so right, I'm those really are happy you'll, with you'll those like socks. Those, yeah. exactly so that's the next my next thing is actually something for May might be for my mom because they both have names that start with M and this is from Makers Lodge and um, what it is is you get I'll let you hold that okay. up so you get a um, wooden disc and then they they you can get a pattern with it you can actually buy a kit on their website um, on Etsy I think is where I got them from so you can buy them there um, and then you can either get the full kit or just get the woodens with all the little holes in it so and it's you, been lasered all these holes are lasered, lasered and then you you just so then you don't get this um, cork backing um, they had suggested using felt and you can actually buy which I didn't know you can get felt that it has adhesive on one side but what I thought was if I can get four inch circles that are in cork it will work great and it'll look nice these are for Christmas tree ornaments so there we go so this is the cork that and you ordered this off Amazon on Amazon it was and it's self adhesive self adhesive it works great I've got a snap that puts the hole in so a hole punch that and they that. came the exact size Exactly. So you didn't have to cut it. That's why it's. Nothing. I was wondering, how did Colleen get that all so smooth? I'd be all over the place. It's the exact and the ex size. Came with the exact. Well, this is not handy. So I was thrilled. I said to me, I found something. So yeah. and it was the cork from the other coasters that I'd done. I wow. don't think you could use this as coasters because some of what's in there is French knots and they make it kind of yes. wobbly. Yes. Yeah. And you. I don't know how you'd make that. You couldn't sit anything on. You wouldn't no. want to sit that on no, there. No. But, but I was thinking you could. You could come up with an idea to make a coaster, maybe not so much with the with that on there, right? Something and use these when you exactly. get Exactly. And I know somebody who does the woodworking. Scroll sawing and woodworking, I could just make up coasters and. Wow. Voila. There we go. Cool. Exactly. Well, those turn out. Is, is it time consuming at all? You know what? It's not. It, it takes a little while. I think I broke mm, three needles, four needles, just because you've got to get through the hole, but you also have to especially those little French knots that you have to do to do this. I thought, oh my goodness, but I finally found the right needle that is working and I kept a piece of the reddish right. thread through so that I know that's the one to do those. Right, and I know you said where you got these, but where did you get them again? Maker's Lodge. Oh. And I will make sure I get their, put their um, website down in the description box below. Cool. Okay, so that was exciting. Now, um, you've been busy. I have. I have another pair of socks, which we're going to be in that works in progress, but they progressed right to be done. <laughs> so they're schoolhouse socks. Once again, that's by KF Jones of the Bakery Bears. And I used Barocco Comfort Sock because I wanted to try doing some texture on socks. And here they are. So there's a little bit of lace at the top, and then there's just this one little band oh. of lace at the toes right there. Oh, I see that. I didn't exactly. That you before. don't have to worry that your toes stick through because it's right on top of that. You do right. that just before you put the toe it in feels there. Feels really nice. And I did change the toe. I really like the cottage toe, and I got that out of her Shell Cove socks. I really like that. But that yarn, the Comfort sock, is brilliant. And it sometimes it's nice having small feet because I have about 28, 29 grams left. So I will be able to either make a little pair of socks for somebody or I make me, you know, those little 
um, sweaters that I make right. that are Christmas Those ornaments, are great I can idea. do that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Exactly. Now, I notice these are wired, at least new, because I know, I'm used to you using the plastic. <laughs> are these old? Like the They're old. I've held wow. them up before. Exactly. Cause, and then you can just hang them up like this. Exactly. So you can hang up your socks. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Why would you need a hanger on there? Just because when they're wet, right, you have to hang them up to let them dry. Oh, I see. That's but the idea. what a great idea. Now, the other ones, these aren't bad. What I take is actually, it is um, obviously not from my hair, but one of the elastics that you do if you've got a ponytail, and I just hook it through there, and then I put it on hang a up. hanger, and then I do that. That's a great idea. I know. So cool. what happened was, I the ones that I have are great, but they're for a size 4 to 6. Now, my foot is in that range um but sometimes if i'm making something that's a size six then it just gets a little wrinkly it doesn't yeah. look as nice you got a tiny foot though don't well you, you know just a little yeah. bit that's there you go they kind of laugh at me when i go get my toes done at the nail salon the Actually, cool the thing is you could buy kids running shoes yes i can but they don't always have the styles that you no know. and they don't have the support that old ladies need yeah see i'm kind of the size not physically but the shoe <laughs> size that's why i have lots of shoes <laughs> <laughs> bathing suit shopping for bathing suit no okay. shopping for shoes yes okay. shopping for shoes i can walk in put a pair of shoes on not no a problem. problem uh seven and a half eight yeah uh real common size. lots of common you know lots yeah, exactly. of exact variety to pick from yeah you not so much no you there's a so bit of a problem much and not that you need to know my life story <laughs> but my feet are half a size different oh so that does create a bit of a it problem. It does. And poor Bakers, can you not find a pair of shoes? Just find some shoes. I go in and try a pair of shoes on, buy it. Exactly. Colleen, we're in there for an hour and a half. Exactly. But I understand. I, I, yep. I'm very patient. Yes, I, she is. <laughs> Mostly. I work, I work at it. Yes, she <laughs> does. It's not a natural thing. Sometimes she says, I just need to go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I have to get out of there. That's right. But we end up, anyway, you've, you've got enough shoes to prove that there I are do. there are shoes out there for you. Exactly, there are. I do yeah. have quite a few pairs. Yes, that's, that's not. We should count the one day. We've talked about that before. No, but no we're not that's doing not that. It's almost. I have, maybe I have a shoe stash. Yeah. Do you think but I have a shoe stash? I think you do. You know you're in trouble when I found a pair of running shoes under the bed at one point in time. <laughs> it was. I didn't remember that they were there. I didn't remember <laughs> that I'd tucked them there. I went, oh, pair of shoes. Pair of shoes. But you like I say. Yeah. Shoe shopping, bathing suit shopping. I would say nine times out of ten women. Would pick the shoe shopping. I would agree with That's you. That's lots of pairs of shoes exactly. and one bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that one. That's for sure. Oh my goodness, you are correct. All right, my last finished objects, and there are a number of them, um, have to do with I bought two um, balls of yarn at Walmart. I think they were four ninety seven, five ninety seven. It's the Bernat premium they're seven ounce balls now the reason why i did this i've got the ukrainian colors and i was trying to do something supportive for ukraine that is all that is left that is all that is left so that's a uh, yarn chicken isn't it you know what it was a little bit and it was a little bit of knit oh no i got two more rows that can do <laughs> so anyway i'll show you, you what did i did it. So the first thing that I did, and you've seen this, is the Hawthorne Cowl, and that's by Anna Campos. So I started with that. So let me take a look. So there's that. And that's you could nice. either wear it like that, or you could wear it with the yellow side out, whichever you like best. That's nice. That'd be nice and warm. I exactly. love that brioche. Or exactly. Whatever. Is that what you call it? Brioche? It is brioche. And it, and it just um, feels warm. And cushy. It's, yeah. warm. it's really nice and soft. I like brioche frustrating sometimes but I do like brioche yeah. and um safety lines that's not the right name do you remember the name is it lifelines Le it's lifelines <laughs> see one of us is going to remember so that's a good thing lifelines brioche go together yes security lines isn't a bad name but it's okay <laughs> so that's go. that so that's the first thing I did the next thing I did was I knit a hat and this is called the hope hat and this was done by river city yards and I didn't do it exactly as this. This has got a little bit of um, marling going on, but I just had the two colors, so I wanted to do that. And I'm thrilled with that. I like this little part of the yeah, top. Yeah, that's cute. That's it's a cute. great hat. Love exactly. the colors. Love the So that's colors. that. Now, I had this leftover yarn, and I thought, what am I going to do? I don't want to stuff it down in my stash. I'm just going to use it up. So here's what I did. I decided to make some of these quick ombre hats by Emily Dormier. 
and oh my goodness, brilliant. It has a number of sizes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sizes, which is brilliant. Now I didn't make ten sizes, but here we go. We're going to start at the smallest. Oh, okay. Okay. So, oh, so there's cute. number now, one. Is this the last one that you did? No. Oh. That is so cute. <laughs> I love so it. what I like is that you can use the two colors. And it just, right. you can it's use them in different ways. I love the ways. colors. Yeah, me too. And there's the next size up. Well, I'll just put this up just to compare. Okay. Mm hmm And I see you, you changed it up. You did Yeah, the exactly. That's, That's cool. Yep. And I'll put this one down. So I'll if anybody has twins, you could do it that way. Still yeah. the same color. There's the next one. Cute. That'd be great for twins. Exactly. Be. And then this one. A little bigger. Is actually the same size as this one. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have as much yarn left for that one. So that's why it looks a little shorter. But the width is the same. Nice. And then there's the last one that I did. And I love them. Because you're carrying that yarn. Look at that. <laughs> is Look this at a, that. Is this an afternoon knitting? <laughs> what were you, a machine? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a machine. But the neat thing is if you buy two of those skeins and you want to do some knitting that you can donate, um, you just decide you want to do that in the wintertime, that's that. I work sometimes at an assessment center where um, refugees um, and people new to Canada come in. I look at their math abilities and do a math assessment. They're also doing it now with elementary school kids. I usually work with the high school kids. And I think what I might do is I might take that in with me when I go. And I'll just give it right. to the lady in charge and say, if you have anybody that needs those, it's there. Because I think some people coming from other countries don't realize how cold Canada can get in the winter. Exactly. If I have one little beef about Canada, it's the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you if don't the like politicians winter. could change one thing, <laughs> could we short the winter just a little bit? Exactly. It is nice to have the four seasons. We exactly. definitely know when it's summer. We definitely know when it's spring. Right. We know when it's fall. Of course, we're getting a little bit enmeshed with the climate, climate change. change. Yeah, that's true. But um, we definitely have the four seasons. And I think I would may miss the winter if it wasn't here. Yes. Um, but if they could just make it a little. <laughs> then I would, She's not asking I would for vote much. for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so those people that you work with may appreciate these I coming from so. different countries exactly. and may not have the, the equipment. Exactly. But that'll be great. So I, I'm excited that it's done. And I'm really excited because this is not going to go into my stash. This is going to go into the garbage, but and, that's okay. And, and you know, that being said, we may be getting some Ukrainian uh, that's refugees into our schools, that's which would I'm be wondering. great for them to have. That's what I thought, and I I know the lady that's in charge of all the international um, admissions uh, to our school board, and I feel quite confident leaving that with her and say, if you know of anybody, that'd be great. Let me know. Good. So. I'm thrilled with that. So those are my finished objects, and I'm going to take the pile away because I know you have some finished objects, mate. I do. I've been working, as you know, I did a little, um, what do you call it, a little booth and a little show. Yes. Um, and what happened was I had these miniature luggages that I had sold, yes. and I have to replenish my inventory. Right. So I've been busy, and that's all I've been busy doing, making this making these luggages because I need to have some inventory for my right, next show right. if I have a next show to right. sell. So I've been busy making those and I this will show is you amazing. those. Oh my goodness. And I uh, I don't know if I can hold these up somehow. Maybe I'll put it on this little stand that I'm Well, that's a great idea. Do you want me to hold them? them? No, I think that's okay. good. Okay. Well, maybe. You think? No. It's up to you. Let's go. There you I'm, go. I can be the assistant of the day. There we go. There's just a little example. Of Look what at it how like. beautiful it is. She's amazing. Okay. So that's what I've been busy doing. I've been making different sets with different... I love this material with the black trim. Yeah. I've been making like different it. material now. The, the, I might do on a uh, little... Sh People have been asking me before when I've put these up how I do my moving... It's amazing that you came up with this all by yourself. Yeah, I did. I came up with this little idea that, yeah. that makes that move. And these little wheels I just glued on. They're just those little snaps that you use. And they look perfect. Yes. And I don't know why they sell... I don't know why these little miniature things sell. Well, if I had uh, a Barbie, I'd want her to have some luggage. Well, I guess it's for Dollhouse or... My Barbie. Or Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, you know what would be really cool is if you were giving somebody a, like a huge ticket to go away, right. you wanted to surprise them and you just gave them a little set of luggage. Oh, that would with be a, cute. With a ticket to Via Rail or a ticket oh, to Canada. Uh, that's good. Yeah. That'd be great. So I have made some red and white ones. Okay. And I've made some Via Rail ones, but I'll, I'll display those maybe at another time. But okay. this, this is what I've been busy great. working on. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So that's that, Colleen. That's, that's all I really have been doing in the last little while. So it's very nice amazing. to move on. And this is a lady who said she has no patience, but she has patience when it comes to this. I have to work at my patience. It's not a natural thing. So some people are naturally patient, not yes. me. <laughs> I've seen you with students. I think you've got some well, natural with kid, patience. Well, with kids, I'm patient. With right. kids, I'm right. patient. But with you've seen me with glue. Yes, uh, I, have. <laughs> I have. Speaking of glue, do you want to tell them the story? Are you going to bring that up? Yes, I'm going to bring that up. I think you should tell them. Well, in making the luggage, I use different glues. Like there's crazy glue and then there's fabric glue mm -hmm. and there's different things that you have to use. Right. So I've been using the fabric glue and it was getting down to the end. Right. So what I did is I turned it upside down. Which um, makes total sense. Just to get the drags out of it. You right. know, the bottom yep. part. Absolutely. So, and generally I didn't realize what I did, but what I usually do when I have to glue something, I sometimes take the lid off with my teeth put the glue down, and then I get a toothpick and I put the glue on. Right. So, unbeknownst to me, I take the glue that I had upside down, and I put it in my teeth, take it out, and I've got my mouth full of glue. And I, but what had happened was when I had it upside down, it kind of leaked and went all over the cap, and I didn't realize that. No. And so I wasn't going to tell you that I had a mouth full of glue. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I got some paper towel and I got Oh, but I her lips are not stuck together. I was, she was okay. just glad it was fabric glue and not crazy glue. Oh, dear. <laughs> Can you imagine? We would have been at the hospital, I think. It'd be worse than duct tape. It would be. Anyway, it was quite the incident. But anyway, exactly. I didn't really tell Colleen She waited it. for a while to tell me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny, but that's you really know. a true story. So. Exactly. So those are our finished objects, and next we're going to talk about works in progress. My first work in progress is an embroidery project and it's called the Neon Mandela and it's by Leisure Arts. And I did get this at Michael's. You can order some of these online. Um, but once again, 30% off coupon right now. Sometimes you get a 40% off coupon. And so I'm just working on this and I'm finding that I love how the embroidery works on the back, black background, but I find at night sometimes that little white line, which is a very little white line, goes that. Now, I understand that sometimes you get light through it. So I'm going to hold, okay. you hold that up yep. there. It really Google. shows up on the black. It really it? does. And they've chosen some nice bright colors and I really, really like it. So I just keep puttering away, doing a little bit, and then my eyes get tired at night and I don't do any more. But I'm really happy with this one. And I do have, I bought a different kit that has a black hoop. Mm -hmm. And I think I might put this in the black that right. that project in a black hoop. I think it would you're be really, really enjoying neat. this embroidery. Thing, I'm enjoying it. We're so gonna have a wall, I think, full of embroidery. Exactly. I can see that coming. I, read, I really like it. I like learning new things, and there's lots. There's one stitch in here that I chose not to do just because, but I'm gonna work on it away from the project and then I'll do it. I just knew that I couldn't get it the way I wanted it to do it here. Well, so. you're doing a great job. I well, like it. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm really thrilled with it. It's, all, yeah. it's fun. And it's That's different, good. right? Yeah, it's different. And it's got a number of different stitches, so I really like that. Now, my next work in progress is a sweater, and it's called The Bird Watcher, and that's by Casapinka. Have you done this one before? I have not done this one before. So I am loving it. I've thrown everything everywhere, so I apologize. I just disappeared. Um, and so what I'm doing is I had some of the Leo and Roxy yarn, so it's fingering weight, and it's car called Marled Sock, which there it is. And I love, I love it. It's, I really, really it like it. It doesn't look like it's going to knit up. It looks like it's going to knit up like kind of striped thing, and it, it ends up it. knitting up quite nice. And I really like this. Yeah. So this is one of those things that just goes round and round. Um, and last night I was busy knitting on the couch. And then what was happening was I was falling asleep on the couch, which you should. I, so for a while, I thought, oh, I'll just close my eyes and knit. And then I, my head would bob and I thought, oh, my gosh. So I was starting to drop stitches and I knew it was time to put it away. Now, this is going to stretch because it actually is some lace. 
To be honest with you, um, this lace isn't going to show up as well in this yarn, and that's okay. I just knew I had the yarn and I wanted to use my stash, and so that's it. I might try this in, with some other right. yarn that I have, but I really, really like this, and it's it's going to be nice. So you knit it up to the armholes, you divide, and then it's just really a short, it's kind of a cap sleeve maybe is what it is. So I think it's going to be nice. Yeah, so that's nice going to be nice up. for in the car. Yes, knitting car around knitting. and around car knitting. Round and round and round we go. I think you should do a podcast on car knitting because I think it's a okay. thing. It is because I, I think you say to me sometimes, "Oh, I'm not taking I'm not taking that knitting. It's too complicated right. for the car." Right. So, so for I'm instance, sure this not 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 taking on the car. <laughs> no, Have no, you no, tried no. that or no? You know you what? You even try it. I love when we go somewhere because I love to be able to see things. And if my head has to do this, my head is down all the time. And you would stop the car and I wouldn't even know where we were. Right. So well, sometimes your head is down knitting and I had to break really quickly or had to yep. swerve. And you were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. So you have to make sure. This one with the uh, stocking stitch, just knitting in the round, it's going to be great in the car. Good. Exactly. So those are my works in progress and may how about you works in progress well i do have one that i'm working I, like i said before i've finished all my luggage right and so my next step is to how to display the luggage so if you have any ideas out there that oh, i would that's really great, enjoy that yeah. what i've come come up with so far i'm not sure if it's the right thing is one of these i found oh that's a great and, idea and um put the luggage on there but right. then i thought maybe doing something like this maybe right. a block of wood right putting a background Oh, this is um, all looking good. Uh, it's getting complicated, though. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I know what you're I saying. I just want it simple right. with a background exactly. so that I could put, like, you know, with my Canadian Air Canada, I can put Air Canada on there right. and my Canadian luggage. So this is what I have so far, but if you have any ideas, that's, a great that's kind of what I've been working on. Okay. And then after I'm working on the display for the luggage, I'm going to be working on... Um, miniature beds for my 1 to 12 scale right. and I'm one, my goal is to try and do a canopy bed and see how that Oh, will that will be great. Now mm. I know that I had made some um, basically like a comforter and pillows for your sale that you had and the stuff that was separate from the beds didn't really sell the right. same one. Because so think... somebody would have to have that exact size bed. Right. So I think with, with how we do the joint thing that you right. sew all the comforters and the pillows. Right sell it with the bed you're right, right. You're i think totally that's going to work yeah. really well yes all okay. right so that's our work in progress and next we're going to talk about our adventure our adventure took us to fennel fennel and there i go again what is that fennel and falls <laughs> uh that's a tongue twister for me for some reason Anyway, beautiful spot up in the core of the lakes. Never been there before. Nope, neither one of us had been. Um, it is about a four and a half hour drive from London. We drove right. all the way up from London, all the way up. Uh, we got to the core of the lakes. Then we went to our place called Sandy Beach Resort. Now we have a little video I'm going to put in there about the resort. Not fancy, not a five star hotel. It's a little rustic cabin, and you'll see from the photos. But I like the place on it because it was right on the lake. Exactly. And it was right on Balsam Lake. Exactly. Um, it was which is beautiful. great. Yes. And we were supposed to have a day or so of rain, and we didn't get rain until the, last, the right. time, the day we were leaving. Yeah. Very peaceful place, wasn't it? Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was so quiet, so peaceful. A great place for us to just, uh, you know, get some zen you know, wasn't it, it, was. it we was played great. um cribbage mm -hmm. uh 15 2 15 4 and a pair of six <laughs> exactly. we played cribbage we read um we toured the the Fallon falls uh fiber festival as you know from our previous video if you haven't seen that yeah go and check that out um we visited the local yarn store colleen's going to talk about that local yarn store we have a video on that um, it's called Between Two Lakes, which it totally is. It's between the Balsam Lake and between Cameron Lake. Right. Totally. That's why it's called Between Two Lakes. Very Great cool. little local store there, but Colin can give you details. And also there was the um, quilting store that we saw in the local uh, village there. Um, and you can talk about that too. Perfect. Yes. But right now we'll talk about our accommodations, which I thought were a little rustic. But clean, uh, you know, exactly. very clean. I mean, that's important exactly. when you go away. That's is right. The cleanliness of it. It was peaceful. It was quiet. Um, where we were, they couldn't do enough for us. We had internet. We had uh, uh, cable TV. Uh, and it was a full kitchen. So there was a fridge, the stove, 
a microwave. We used all of it actually, by the right. way, when we were there. Um, and it was great. And it had kind of a little TV room right. and then a place to eat. And then there was- I'll just show you the video and you can check it out for yourself. Hope you enjoyed that video. Did you like the part where I put the sunset in and I, I put it on speed? Oh, you did? Yes. I oh, I can hardly wait so to see it. So that you can actually see the sunset going down and what we were there for quite a while to right. watch that happen. Um, beautiful sunsets. It there. was amazing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And anything else you want to talk about? A little spot on vacation there? Well, there were ducks. So they cute. Were cute. Yeah, they cute were little cute ducks. little ducks. Yep. Yep. Peaceful, quiet, enjoyed it very much. Um, now, we after we stayed there we went downtown i don't know if they call it downtown but it we went yeah, right into the, the actual fennel falls themselves <laughs> um they're not really scenic but they're really well known around the area and, and right. you can hear from the video that i'm going to show you they're quite loud and it's it's kind of cool to see and while we were there um we saw a boat coming through the canal which was really cool and, and lock, I, I don't yeah. know there's lots of locks there we were at lock 34 right which is directly across from the the um yarn store that we visited it was that's right and uh, that was really neat the day was beautiful we got of course got to have our ice cream as you can see from the photo <laughs> there's an ice cream store there exactly um there's the uh fennel falls brewery thing there where you have, okay. have a nice lunch mm -hmm. they have bike rentals um and uh just a great place it was really it a great was. place to be exactly now, um when you go up to quartha lakes and, and that area they talk about houseboat renting. So if you ever want to rent a houseboat, uh, that would be the place to be. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I, we had some friends who did that and they yeah. really liked it. Yep. So anyway, we'll put that little video in and you can actually get a feel for the place on and see what you think.
video gave you an idea of what you thought Fennel Falls uh, actual downtown looked like. Right. Um, and we didn't get a chance to talk about that little market that you saw in the video. Oh, that was, was cute. It was, a, it was a huge market, but it was right. cute. It was local people there. And we bought some honey to bring back with us as a souvenir. Exactly. And we, we're not going to show that in our souvenirs. We're I never not. thought about that. But you've seen it <laughs> on the picture. It's up in the cupboard. So. Yeah. And so um, next we're going to talk about... Um, and I have a little video calling that I've put up about the yarn right. store and about the um, the um, quilting shop that we okay. saw. But I don't know if you want to talk about them first, then we'll put the video in. Or? I think that makes sense. Let's talk about it. Okay, first. let's do that. All right. So the yarn store, first of all, is called Between Two Lakes. It's on 8A Water Street. It makes sense it's called Water Street because it looks over the lock. And there's a sign there that says May Street, too. I don't know if you saw that. Uh -huh. I took a picture of it. Yeah, um, there's a sign. She's got me. her own street. It was meant to be. <laughs> um, so we met Sandy, who's the owner, and she was lovely. Yes, she and was. the dog with name was Stella. So if you see a dog in there, that was Stella. And she gave us a tour of her um, yarn store. And so she's got things laid out, like a lot of yarn stores do, kind of by weights of yarn. Um, she's got diamond dots, which I've never tried. I know your mom was going to try it, mm -hmm. and she said she didn't have the patience for it, so I'm not sure if I could. So I came by the non-patient, <laughs> honestly, then, I guess. Okay, and plus, my to... mom's 86, and she can't really see. It's, it's very tiny. That. That's but... right. So, so that there was that. There was some paints. There were there was all felt. kinds of I bought, yarn. I bought some felt. Yeah, you got some felt there for your luggage. Because this is a yarn and craft store, but it was mostly exactly. yarn, I think. Mostly yarn? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. What I saw that, you know, sometimes you wish you would have purchased, they, she had these pillows that were cross-stitched. So instead of using like embroidery floss to do the cross-stitch, it was big and you actually used regular weight yarn. I guess I could make something up and try and make a pillow, but it was really, really neat to see. I yeah. thought that was a great idea. And then again, all different kinds of uh, yarn. I know she had some of her samples she was trying to sell. Um, and so it, she was just lovely when and we she, had a chat. She'd with been her. open there for four years. Unfortunately, um, two years after COVID hit. And I feel sorry for all businesses, not just the yarn stores, but right. for all businesses that Absolutely. hit when you're trying to start out in a, in a new store. So I think right. she's doing quite well. Um, her location is absolutely amazing. It the is. store window was bright. It was um, very nice. Really nice. Yeah, she, and I, she has some sweatshirts, which instead of saying north, south, east, and west on it, it says K-N-I-T, knit. And I thought <laughs> it, would, it was neat because it looked like the, they crossed from having the directions. So I really liked So I thought, oh, I could have picked up a nice sweatshirt, which would have been great for <laughs> camping, but didn't do that either. Um, because sometimes for me it's all about the yarn but we really really had a nice time when we were there beautiful exactly yeah, beautiful store and the um and the little store there was the uh quilt store was kind of cool yes so the quilt store that we went to is called the little wee quilt shop and it's at 8 colburn street um and we met vivian and she has one of the big long arm machines so somebody can take in a quilt and she'll do the quilting of the top that's what caught my eye when i went in there i'd never yeah. seen something so like large like that taking up a lot of her space in her store exactly but she had a lot of variety of uh, material and, exactly and may as i love yarn loves fabric mm -hmm. and because it's for her miniatures and so she gets to see all kinds of things and what would she like and that would make great luggage and that pattern's too big and I'd have to do something else. That's right. So it's neat for you to get involved. And also I think uh, there's a little bit of Scottish thing there. She's a little Scottish history. I think she was either born in Scotland. Born, yeah, born in Scotland. Born in Scotland. Yes, Came absolutely. Came back oh, here when she was two. Yep. So we had a great conversation exactly. about Scotland and it's a great country also. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, we had a lovely conversation about that. So it was great. So why don't I put the video in? Perfect. And then we'll come back and s talk about what you think. Okay.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. There's a number of little stores that we popped into when we were there. It right. uh, looks like the biking would be great there too. Exactly, it would yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, it would be great. So great visit, great local stores, great yarn store. Um, can't wait to go back, maybe take our bikes. Exactly. Uh, maybe rent idea. a kayak. You know, oh, good. We, not on the falls, though. We're not going over the falls. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, we, we go to these places, and we were only there for a couple of days or so. So, right. um, But it's nice to see them, because then I would absolutely go back there for a exactly. longer period of time and then see what I would like to do. Yeah, and the nice thing is, at the Sandy Beach Resort, they did have kayaks and well, canoes right, and stuff did, yeah. that you could you were welcome to use they would allow you to use right. and i think you could bring your own um life jacket and and go right. out and do that that would have been fun to do yes yeah. exactly it's the great. first couple of days it was really windy not a great day but the the last not the last day because that's when it all the rain, the rain happened but, um but the day just before after the fiber festival it was, it was calm like you calm. see when the ducks are in that video they right. kind of were doing this yeah but um but actually, the next day it was really, really calm. calm. And we nice, could have beautiful. had a nice paddle. A lot that of fishing there, too. They, they fish there all year, exactly. just so you know. But Oh, all year? All year they fish, ice like fishing. ice fishing and that wow. kind of thing. But, yeah. um, you know, there was lots more to see in the Quartha Lakes. We were right. only part of it. But the, the actual Fennel Falls is known as the jewel of the Quartha Lakes. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. And he's got so, our information there. Yes. So, anyway, that was our adventure. And, and um, next we're going to talk about souvenirs. May, any souvenirs for you? I did buy some souvenirs. Unfortunately, I don't have them at the table. But oh. I, I bought some yellow felt at the oh, uh, that must between be two lakes. Yep. yep, so that was kind of neat mm -hmm. to buy that there. Um, we bought some honey that we don't have as a souvenir. Right. And I bought some um, material from the little wee quilt shop. Right. Um, but I used that on my luggage, so oh. I can't really show you. <laughs> but when you are buying material for miniatures, you have to be careful, of course, right. of the pattern. You right. can't have too big of a pattern, or else it's not going to work for your miniatures. So right. that's kind of limits you to what you can buy. Right. But um, I did buy some of that, and then. Um, uh, that's what I had for my souvenirs. Oh, um, right. Another thing I want to talk about souvenir-wise okay. is uh, we had some friends over the other day. Right. And it's kind of a late Christmas present because because of COVID and different things that right. I was traveling, we don't yeah. get to see them very often. Exactly. And it was kind of a delayed Christmas present, but right. it was so cute. <laughs> I can't believe it. So they came up with this idea of giving us our little car <laughs> with all the knitting at the back, and they made little polymer clay people. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's so cute. I I'm love even it. knitting in here, and I'm wearing purple. Like it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> they did so. a great job. Isn't they that really great? Did. Exactly. They're like you know those weebles wobbles, but they exactly. don't fall down. That's They're right. like little weeble wobble people. They fit in there purple. perfectly. But just the fact that somebody went to all the trouble to yeah, do that—it was, that, really, it was really, really nice. nice. And so that was kind of cute. And also they made, you can talk more about the knitting on this. It's kind of cute. So it's a basically, it's a mason jar, which they didn't knit. But they knit this to go over top. And it actually is made with Stellina yarn. So it's got that sparkle to it. Um, they also included some lights that you put inside, turn them on. And it's going to make that sparkle yarn just shine. That'd be a great gift for somebody, wouldn't exactly. it? Exactly. Like, well, you did get it as a gift. So it is a great <laughs> gift. But <laughs> great. Uh, yeah. So exactly. thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. And uh, so those. I guess be souvenirs exactly so now we're going to talk about my souvenirs so let's first of all talk about what I got at the between two lakes yarn store so um, first thing I did was I asked her what her favorite notion was that's what I've been doing and she mentioned this which is called a needle viewer view sizer so what it has is it's a needle gauge but the other thing it has right here it is um, magnified so that when you are checking your uh, gauge swatch, you can actually count the number of stitches easier. Because I was going to say, you have one of these. I do, or more but I don't have this part. And when she mentioned what it was, I thought, these old eyes, they need that help. So this magnifying part will help you when you're doing your gauge swatch. And, and if I can remember correctly, and I don't have a very good memory. Well, I do have a good memory. It's just short. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, that you had a necklace on the other day that had these. I right? do. Absolutely. So maybe we could attach a magnifying glass to that <laughs> necklace. But that's a great idea. It that's is. It's a really idea. So yeah. I really like that. So that was the first thing that I picked up. The next thing I found was this shawl pin. And I really like it. It's really, really pretty. 
So I have a shawl cuff or two, um, but this is really nice. I really like it. The patterns. And you got yeah. this between two lakes? They between had a two shawl pin in there? Yes, they did. The things I don't see. In, I know. Like, Because I never really pay attention. When you go up to the counter and you're paying, I kind of walk away. And right. I don't know what I'm doing, but I never Probably really taking look. pictures. Yes. And so then when, I, when we get home and we do these souvenir things, I'm I like, know. they had a shawl pin? I know. And it's funny thing is because when we get home and we're watching the video back, I say, May that in that store <laughs> I was in that store and I don't remember seeing that so she sees things I don't see and I see things she doesn't see it's so funny we got yeah it's good though exactly so then of course there had to be some yarn involved in the situation so what I bought was three skeins of this heritage silk Peruvian tones I love the feel of this I know I love the feel of it and I love the color of it and then I have to say a special thanks to Sandy because I thought I'll get three skeins. It'll let me make something short sleeve. Um, so I knew I needed three skeins of the same dye lot. And there were two hanging up and there was one over sitting beside some mohair. And I said, do you have another skein of that? Is that possible? And she said, yep, yeah, here you go. And then she just started to giggle and I went, what? I said, are you sure it's okay? And she said, well, she said, there's a lady coming in later on today who's bringing in a sample that's knit with this and you're taking the last skein of oh, that color. Did you feel bad? I said, I said, it's okay if you don't need me, like if you don't want me to take it, but she was a sweetheart and she said, nope, go ahead and take it. She said, the sample will be nice. It will help sell some other things. And she said, I can always order more yarn. Oh, Which was that very was nice kind of her, though. But it if you was. need three, you need three. You can't go exactly. two, right? Exactly. No, two so would not have worked. That was really nice for us. So. Yeah, and I'm hoping that I can make something and have a little bit left. And you never mm -hmm. know. Shorty socks, something like that. Nice. So that's what I got at Between Two Lakes. Thrilled with that. Now, when we went to the fabric store, I had something in mind. Because I needed to buy something that would make lining for a specific thing that I was doing that and you'll see that in another podcast so I needed something that had a little bit of a yellow tone but wasn't like a bright yellow if that makes any sense at all and I found this which I absolutely love I could use it for many things well that is nice but it's got a pattern to it but it doesn't it's not in your face and what it is actually is a bunch of little hearts yeah I don't so it's got I don't want to that too close on it and change the yeah. yeah so the nice thing about it it's a little bit of a yellowy tone but it's really nice beige yellow it's not too yellow so it's going right. to go exactly with what i needed to do well you did well and i again i've got some material i bought there too for my exactly. miniatures that are now on my suitcases Perfect. that i can't show you but exactly. we both did quite well and we did and we had a great time it was lovely and the weather did hold off until we came home when it rained but we we're yeah. in the car when it when we came home exactly so, that was fine too. so our very last day it was time to pack up and May was wonderful because what she because it was not dripping rain. It was <laughs> it pouring was thunder rain. and lightning. <laughs> it was it was unbelievable raining. And I thought, okay, we both got raincoats, let's get them on, let's go. And she just said to me, she said, Colleen, no. She says, because she'd already been out to the car once. She says, I am soaking wet. There is no sense in two of us being soaking wet. So she said, I'm going to do that. So basically what happened is I kind of worked my way out. So I made sure the bathroom was clean, made sure the bedroom was clean, made sure the kitchen was clean. Like I just worked things and kept taking it to the door and you kept running in the rain. To the car. With a the car. metal umbrella in the lightning. Oh, but, that, but no, we no, go. No. <laughs> but we got, we got it and it was good. Yep. And, and, I, and I brought a change of dry clothes. So when I got so in the car, smart. I took up everything that was off that was wet. Right. Because um, it wasn't cold. No, yeah, we it was just wet. wet. So I took everything off in the car exactly. and put on some dry clothes. Voila! There great. we go. And I trip home. really appreciated it because I was a little bit wet. Not anything like she was. And I thought, oh my gosh, she was drenched. So anyway, we managed to figure it all out. Um, and then home we came. Yep, but a great overall trip, wasn't it? We did. We had a great time. So thank you so much for watching. If you're liking what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. Once again, let us know if there's any place you'd like us to come and visit uh, because we are starting our adventures again. And make sure you subscribe. Did you already say that? I did earlier, but did it's, never, really? it's never a bad thing to say <laughs> it twice. We really appreciate yeah. when you subscribe. Exactly. Uh, we really appreciate your comments. And uh, yeah, it was a great trip. Look forward to more adventures. Exactly. So until next time, you take care.